is our second game of Carnival. Tonight we are playing the scenario of the Guild with the Rush Art versus the Doctors. We have five scenarios on the table. Uh, one over here on the on the bridge, uh, one by the market down here, one on the little bridge down here, uh, another one on the um, jetty. jetty, thank you, uh, and one up on the top of the building here. We've just finished deploying uh, with the Rush are broadly taking the right hand side of the board and the Doctors splitting their forces across each side of the board here and here. There we go. We shall go away and roll our first dice for initiative. Initiative to roll for turn one for the Doctors. We have one, one success. For the Rush are. We have one, two, three, four successes. Rasha take the first turn. So starting with the uh, Church of Dagon, we're going to kick off with the cultist dude down here. And he is going to start by plopping himself into the water. Short move. And then he's going to dive. That is a dexterity check with a dex of four. One success. Wait. Okie doke. So he's dived with one success. Um, and we've got a dive token. There we go. We'll just pop a little token next to him there. And he moves at the beginning of the next turn, isn't it? He gets to do his move. Yep. Okay. Over to the doctors. The doctors are going to go and obviously pick a fight because they can't do any swimming of any kind. So the Warden is going to shift himself a grand total of three, twice, because what else is he going to do with his time other than stand there and look pretty? But he's not in base contact, so he can't reveal yet. Nope. Okay, so um, next, 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 next. <laughs> uh, this dude down here is going to... Move but two inches to about there, plop himself in the water as his first action, and then he's also going to dive. He has a dex of four as well as a hybrid, and two successes there. I've got a little token for him, and he is also underwater. I will. Start. Why not? Let's move the doctor. I think so. Move the madman first. Let's do some setup. He says, giving away his entire plan. Uh, so the madman is going to move to about yay mm -hmm. and make himself comfortable. It's the end of the madman's turn. Right. Okay. Uh... Right. I'm not quite ready to have a fight yet, so uh, this cultist here is going to plop himself in the water and he is also going to dive. Uh, that's two successes and so he gets a little token and I will do, 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 do. score this. Ah. Perform three dive actions with any known characters in one round. Oh, that makes sense. There we go. Weird thing to do. <laughs> there we go. Starting off well with one victory point there. We need some dice for victory points. I'll sort that out in a second. Hokey doke. I will. <clears throat> I'm going to make the man, not my man, the lab assistant, the new chap in the corner with the charming stick. Uh, lab assistant sort of here. Do a little bit of jumping. So he's going to hop onto the there, which is a two. A new market, yep. Yeah. It's not an obstacle, so I'm not sure if he can hop onto it and then off again. Not for a free because you can it. land on it. It's got a flat roof, sorry. So I'm wondering, do I. Is it easy just to walk up it and over to the wall Climb and it. start climbing? <laughs> yes, with my slightly wonky measuring there. It's a climb of free action, is it? Just a, it's not a kind of dice roll. 
Excellent question. We've never done it before, we've just hopped around like ninjas. But the rules are falling, that's obviously declining. Vertical terrain. So climbing is a dexterity roll against vertical terrain. So a success, you make your move. Critical, you get to do two extra move. Fail, you don't go anywhere. Fumble, you fall on your head. Right, okay, look, his dex is? Uh, four. Four, okay. Dice over here. Seven. One. One seven, excellent. One seven. He clambered his way up to there. Okay. For one. And he's gonna climb up the rest of it. Possibly, it depends on whether or not we can actually make the move. Get right to the edge of a four. So you need a success. A success. Okay. So move. A bit more climbing. A success. <laughs> a <laughs> critical work. success. Is it? Oh, it's not. It needs to be a ten, isn't it? It's not just a seven on a on a white dice. Sorry. Hoopla. Okay. He's well done. You've done better than every other character on their first go. Right, um, right, oh, oh, okay. Um, him, bidim, 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 bidim. I think we shall. Uh, the priest of Dagonite, Dagonite priest here, is going to first of all have a little move action down to here. Uh, next to the cultist, and uh, I'm going to make a spell check. I'm going to use Gateway because I've never used it before. So we have, of course, we one wilt. So I'll stick a counter on there. Um, yeah, I've got a mind of four, and no particularly exciting uh, ability. So I need to get a difficulty of eight. Um, can you see me? You can't out of the line of sight of you, aren't I? So you can't. What are you going to do? He's, down, no, he's well out of line of sight. Down there, hiding away. Uh, one success. No, it needs an eight. Oh, okay. So, so one success on a ten. So that's sufficient. Uh, he's going to gateway this dude here who's in the water. Because it doesn't say I can't. No, it doesn't say that you can't ca you can't target things underwater. Nope. You just get I get extra protection when I'm underwater. Mm. He's gonna gateway him all the way over to there. Vujomp. There we go. Just like that. And that's his two actions. Okay, I will move good old Dottore. He's gonna shuffle up to here. Where he can see this fine gentleman. It's underwater. That's fine, we can target things underwater. We've just <laughs> established that things underwater are fair shout. Now the question is, do I Kraken's breath him in the head with my wildly successful horrible magic? Because it will work. Yes. Yes, <laughs> I do. Because that's my thing. Very much the only trick in my bag. This will hurt. Okay. I certainly hope so. Got a mind of <clears throat> six. Yuch. So it's cost of two, difficulty six. I will spend two of my one and only madman's will because that's the only reason I brought him along. Bless him. He goes down to five. Um, difficulty is. Excellent question. It is difficulty six. I've got experts. Oh, I haven't got expert sorcerer, interestingly enough. The other guy does. Weirdly. The one who's supposedly a brilliant sorcerer does not have expert sorcerer. But anyway, so I'll we'll try to get sixes. One, three. two, three. I might try and dispel that with the voice of Dagon, because I think he is just about in line of sight of you. Right across there. Through the gap to mm. you. He's top of his gimp mask. Yeah. So I'll try and do that with my voice of Dagon. He's got a mind of five and needs to spend some will for this, doesn't it? Uh, yes, he has to spend two. Two will. 
Down to one, when I found a one on a dice, there we go. And a minor five. So you've got to be three sixes. Three sixes. Yeah. Oh, because I have to duck down somehow. And it's because it's an opposed roll. Is, is it an opposed roll when it's a dispel, or is it an opposed is it I think it's an opposed roll. Oh, I'm going to have to change the wrong then. Uh, one, two, three, four, and a critical. That'd be different then. That depends on whether it's an opposed roll or not, because that changes how many dice I can roll on mine. Does it? Yeah, that's the headachey thing, boys and girls. Bear with us a moment. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so slight mistake there. I should roll first. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I deduct these from the number of dice Charlie rolls rather than deducting successes. So we have one, two, three, four successes in there. So I roll two instead. So he rolls two dice and needs to get two sixes. Need to get any sixes. A one, any one six. Okay, yeah. off we go. Hey, a six. One six. Still goes off. Righto. So in answer to all the, qu the question of people asking, what are opposed rolls like? Confusing. <laughs> uh, so crack and breath goes off. And it does. Four, eight, or oh, one. So one. <laughs> I could obviously crack his breath in such a manner that I does not crack his breath my fine yep. warden. And I take how much damage? You oh, take. Extra roll, don't I? X plus two with penetration minus X. Minus X, so two is it for your mage? It's the... My mage is a three. Your mage is three? Mm. Four. I've got one protection dice. Right, okay. I roll my protection dice. It fails. So I you take... take five damage. Yowch, that's painful. I feel like we've done that wrong just because that was an awful lot. No, I'm relatively little effort. I'm fairly sure that that's kind of how we did last time. And it does, that's right. The yeah, mage, mage three time, massively helps. There you go, mage. He did a thing. I haven't got a mage three. I need a bigger mage. <laughs> right, okay. I hang just, on. Ooh, hang on, that's only one action. Two more actions. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> and being a mage three, I can cast two more spells. And so I shall. I will cast. No, he won't. He will it's true. He can't think rolls. of anything. Well, you can't dispel anything else because you're only nope. mage one. I'm only mage one. So really, I should have done something rubbish first. Yes. Because you forgot that I had any other actions. Yes. Uh, I always forget you've got other actions because it's just too damned powerful. Cantrip of the devil. Okay. So that is a cost of zero, difficulty seven. So one, two, three, four, six dice. Pick one enemy character. Oh, is he within three inches? Oh, he's slightly out. I have to change my mind. He's out. Miles away. What are we talking about? I can't do that. Blood drain. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So I will more. once again spend a mind point from my madman. I need more madmen going through this guy like hotcakes. Uh, Good. Pick someone within six inches. He's in six inches. That character takes X damage with penetration minus four. So it's cost one, difficulty seven. I think he's been six inches. Doubting myself. Yeah, yeah, yes. he's even been six. Ooh. There we go. Okay, check. A million dice. There we go. One, two, three successes. Doesn't matter, it just needs a one. So he takes. What's it doing? Blood drain. Three damage, penetration minus four. That'll be uh, no, uh, no penetration dice. Three damage, you say. Hmm. How? Well, that takes me up to ten damage. Isn't it? For... What was on before? No, I was on five, three, eight. Can't count. There we go. Correct, you cannot. And then... Of twelve, that's not good hmm. for turn one, being that I've got less people on the board. Mm. <laughs> and then I think for his last action, a sensible thing to do would be just to shuffle back so that you can't just walk up and slap him on the next turn. Uh, not that I would do that. I'd, I'd walk up and throw him into the canal so he can't cast magic. <laughs> right. That's him done. Okay. Uh, finally, I've got the voice of Dagon over here. Who is going to start moving? Who's going to hoof it? Uh, do I need to be in line of sight to cast a spell on someone? Probably do, don't I? So he's going to have to double Makes move. Sense, yeah. Um, he's going to have to double move right the way over to here. That was about. That's a bit more than that. So just moving back a little bit there. Okay, he's now down here and he's going to cast Rejuvenation on um, 
this guy down here with his last mine, the last will points. That's gone quite quickly, unfortunately. I shall have to do something else. If I'm being particularly oh. finicky, I reckon I can see his very tip of his shoulder. I'm going to stick out to decide. Yeah, if I stand him that way, can I hide behind the pillar? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. On, no, not at all. <laughs> if I swivel him round, <laughs> hide behind the pillar. So uh, we Dramatic have a got a mind five, and we're casting rejuvenation with a difficulty of seven. So a four and one more dice. Here we go. I've got no will left, which is slightly painful. I should probably wrap the dice less because I'm holding the camera. One, two. Oh, that's good. So one, two, three, four successes on a seven. Uh, so I get a um, total of every ace roll plus X. Uh, so that's one for me. Yep. So that's five in total. Uh, that many life points from any number of... Replenish this many life points from any number of characters within 12 inches and line of sight, distributing them as I wish. I shall just remove that and leave him with three health. Thank you very much, Lee. That's marginally better. Okay. Although he's now out of I've mind, got one. He? Yes, yeah, I've got one action left. No, I've, I've double moved and cast. That's my three actions. Yep. Okay. Uh, nurse, who is... Nursey, nursey. <laughs> the nursey. Two nurses, you've got one over there as well. I'm go with Cool Undercut Nurse, who is going to cast Cancer of the Sun on my already long-suffering madman. <laughs> so she's got the, uh, what's it called, Companion Doctor ability, which means that she can use the Doctors of the Mind, Doctor of the Mind's mind. So she gets oh, yeah. to roll six, which makes her vastly less rubbish than her previous mind one. So we are casting on a seven. Okay. Got to be a seven one, there. Two, two three. sevens. Three sevens. That's fine. So he regains one with uh, my uh, one well point. point. So he goes back up to five. Okay. And that, that's one action. Is there anything else? No. Yes. Oh, well, no, I like. I'm going to go. Uh, Oof. Just stay marginally close. Hugely tactical move there. To try and, keep alive. and the other one, because I've got no one left. Oh, that's a good point. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Massively out of position. What, mine? That, her, she's not doing anything. Not yet, she hasn't. So that's a. Uh, let's do a jump, because that's a. Two and a half inch jump. Okay. With her massive dexterity of. It's not bad actually, it's three. Three, okay. I've had worse. I should I think. clear the dice out. So you move two and a half inches on. So basically, one success. Basically, a success, yeah. yeah. Oh, critical two success. Benefits. So four inches plus one, which is a bit overkill. Just yeah. a massive leap to about there. Uh, four inches plus one, is that how high is the building? Hmm? Can she make it all the way up the building? <laughs> With one can mighty she, bound, I think it's probably six inches. To dial. No, it's about six of it, yeah, so she was there. not quite. Hey ho. That's so. a shame. <laughs> very funny. How is she can now climb up the building? Basically, that's the plan. Yep. So, another dex check. So, she's got a move of four. We've established it's four up to there, so another dex check. Any will do. A nine. There we go. So up she goes. And that's it for turn one. That's um, painful. We've got a uh, couple of doctors up here, um, near an objective over here. We've got a sneaky guy who was sneaking around to murder the uh, the um, nursery who's now here. That's <laughs> no good. Who was previously sneaking Re around. Replan that slightly. Um, basically, I'm hiding in the water everywhere. Uh, 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 indeed. If only I had big fish beasties. So we will see you for turn two. Initiative rolls for turn two. Charlie would like to take the way with how many command? Three, Three command. Hey, we have two successes. Two successes. Take that. I shall roll with five. Uh, one. I didn't see that coming. Critical and fail. a critical fail. So I do not get an initiative this turn. Uh, not a critical fail because I rolled one success. Ah. So it's your turn first. That's disappointing. My turn first. What to do? What to do? Genuinely. Um, I know what to do. <laughs> this isn't going to be pleasant. <laughs> oh, that's... So that square there. Sweet. So the Doctor of the Mind is going to... Yeah. Sort of... 
You've got move of three, which is a bit annoying. So ah, if I get to there, it. where's three from the direct straight line from here? Round the uh, round the there admin, yeah. And then can I get them both in the thingy? No, no. not even close. You can get one just about. What if I go up there? Okay, I have to make a double move. Oh, Shocking. that's a real pity. I'm not sure I like that. I might as well wait and let you move somewhere else, or do I just go and blitz you now? Stuff it, it's worth it, it's funny. So double move to there. Okay. Obviously, Breath of the Kraken. Yay. So the madman goes down to three will. You have nothing to oppose me with. So we are rolling a target of something rubbish like six. There we go. And I only need one success. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, I'm going to counter, oh. I'm going to counter, so, oh, no, I've got no, no will, don't, don't worry about it, you'll be fine. Phew, that's lucky, I got some successes. Right, nice yep, one. it goes off. So, template over, template hopefully I've moved him to the right place, because he should be, I need to clip him. Yep, base it's to base over it is. Yep. clip him. Okay, so the Dagger Knight uh, cultist dude first. So, this has... is five damage with penetration minus three. So I've got one pen for the uh, cultist in the water, and then... Um, don't I get an extra protection for being in the water, actually? I have no idea. I thought that was just because you had dived. Yes, I think you get... You get plus two protection for being <laughs> with <laughs> underwater water counter. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken so much damage last time. Hey, well. Uh, just as much. However, I still take five damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. So he gets... Uh, let's give him five on top of that. So I'll just add that there for now. Uh, the voice of Dagon, however, has universal shielding three, so it still also rolls three dice. Uh, two successes. Two successes. So he takes three damage. He does. The voice of Dagon is tanky. He is surprisingly tanky, isn't he? Uh, three damage. There we go. Now, that's one, two, three actions. In the end of your yes. last action, I'm going to spend a command point to activate him. There. And he is going to swim. Because he can swim miles, because he's underwater. He's then going to climb an inch. Uh, swim. Can I swim then climb underwater? Right. Or can I just swim massive amounts? It was less than an inch. What do you mean, can you swim? Can I then... swim then climb out as one action? Can I only get one action done? Remove the counter and move the character up to four inches as long as it stays within the water. I think he can only get to there. So you'd hit the end and that's it, so that's yeah. your thing. That's fine. My activation. He climbs out the water. Okay. He then grabs the doctor. Hang on. So oh, that's one that's one, one action. action. Yep. So I'm going to spend a command point to move him. Okay. So I think I can do that. I'm going to check because he's already done three things. So I need to check whether I can actually do that. Do I get an attack of opportunity before? Because I've ended my action in contact with you. Uh, Hold one second. Okay, we have consulted the rulebook and Charlie's come up with a new plan. I have come up with a new plan, so I'm going to use my command point to activate the warden. Right. Who's going to drop on your head. <laughs> okay. Is my theory here. Now, can I occupy the same space as you? No. You'd have to, you could move to the edge of the bridge and whack me once Basically, as an attack opportunity. Yeah. So that's what I want to do, is hit you on the head. Yeah, so, uh, I don't think that really helps. So you want to stun me, don't you? I do want to stun you. So let's imagine that I'm slightly further down. Okay. Because I'll just fall over. Yep. So I'll shuffle up to there and attack opportunity. Well, see, has he got a range on his bat thing? Has he got one inch range or zero inch uh, range? Zero inch range. Okay, just wondering if he, yeah, he just needs next to me, basically. All right, okay. Yep. This is going to hurt because I only have uh, four life left. Mm, I'm tempted to grapple you. <laughs> right, come on, let's roll some Sling you back are, you gonna, are you going to grapple or are you going to... Um... I am going to... Which one am I... Who am I fighting against? The efficient? Uh, yeah, one of these uh, efficient. Oh, so it's the pose roll. You've got to get sevens on four dice. I've got to get sevens on four dice. Or do I just wang you on the head? I'm going to grapple you because I think it'd be amusing. Okay, I'm going first. Yep. So I'm going to spend all three... Uh, <clears throat> spend two will. To give myself six dice. Mm-hmm. Because I really, really don't want to be thrown away at the moment. <laughs> and I get sevens. One, one two, two three, three, four, and one's a crit, so that's an extra one, isn't it? I don't think it is with the pose rolls and the FAQ thing. The newer uh, pose rolls shenanigan hang on. 
bear with us. Uh, critical grapple. That's uh, doesn't say anything about it there because it's only on the it's only on the positive. Just says you count the aces in the new experimental. Right, one, two, three, four. Then so you have four dice down. So you roll no dice. I do. So I will use my two will points. Okay. To roll two dice. Okay. Because I need seven. All right. Yeah. Hey. No sevens. Come on. No sevens. No ah. sevens. Uh -uh. Oh dear. Right, I will carry on then for now. Yep. <laughs> I will attempt to grapple the uh, priest there. My decks of four. Are you going to try and... Uh, is it a post dex roll? What's his... I don't think he's got any decks, has he? Four, surprisingly. Why are I even worried? Uh, okay, so he roll first. And I will use a will point because I can get will points back. Okay. The doctors. I'll use two actually. <laughs> yeah, I will use two. So I'm going to spend those two. And okay. Get my two, similar to your trick. So two, four, six. Okay. Okay, it's sevens, aren't I? Yeah. None. One. Two sevens. Two sevens. So I've got two four. Dice. So I've got two dice. I'm going to spend my last will point there and get three dice. Hang on. Can you do that? How many times in the round can you do it? Is the question on there for one? As many as I like. Probably. It's two per dice, isn't it? Per action. Four a character makes a dice roll, choose up, spend two of their will points. Each will point spent control one dice, up points in ten. Yeah, you can as many times as you like. Okay. But you run out. Two successes. Yep. In the water. How far can I move you? Is it like two inches, I think? Uh, grappling. Uh, success. Move two inches plus one for every uh, ace rolled. So it'd be about, well, four inches. Four inches place. will get you up and over and in the water. Slosh. Uh, I'll move you to about there. Okay. So that's action one. Action two. He jumps after you. <laughs> Geronimo! This is a good plan. I'm going to discover that. It's a bit dark down here, sorry. If we, just, there are two men under the there. bridge there. Two men under the bridge, just yeah, about. Yeah. Okay, so I will attempt to... Um, I'm going to attempt to drown you. Okay, so dexterity roll again. Yep. Uh, you first. Yep. Dex of four. What's your dex? My dex is also four. I've got no will, you've got no will. Oh no, I used both. I thought I had three. Yeah, yeah I had one left. In yeah. the box, please. Mm. That's fine, I will roll that in the box. For what it's worth, two. Two. So I'm down to two dice. There we go. One, and it's a crit. A critical crit, drown. Crit gra drown action is here. Critical target loses four life points plus one for every ace. One ace. Five life points. Dun, dun, dun. You still get a protection roll, don't you? Oh, do I? I believe so, yes. Sounds legit. Um... Possibly should have stabbed him. Don't say can't. Right, so protection also is... Uh, do I get an extra dice for jumping down at you? Or is it only You've got to travel over distance over three. Right, three. So that's, only, that's not three. Okay. So we're rolling there. Protection is three. Yeah. How much damage we're trying to negate? Uh, five. On sevens. Yeah. It's not my... Aha! Three. So that two. Two plus... Yeah, so two plus the extra one for the crit, isn't it? For protection. Uh, crit rolls for protection. Uh, critical, add one extra ace to this roll. Yeah. For each roll. So, three, each roll so he loses two health. Two health. Not quite as successful as planned, but, you know, fun. <laughs> Okay, you'll go, shall we? Is he a water creature? <laughs> uh, no, he's an expert swimmer. Fast swimmer. If you jump down and smash him on the head, there's a high likelihood he's not going to be very healthy. I, I feel like it's not going to matter. Um, is it three inches down from the top of the bridge? Actually, I'm not sure you can actually get there, because that's the edge of the board, bear in mind. Hmm? So you can't jump onto me, because there's no space. I can jump to there. That's the, bear in mind, the edge of the board is the li that line there. Oh, is it? Yeah. <gasps> we are two by two here today. Scam. So uh, there is no space to jump next to me. So the best you can probably do is walk around to here and smack me on, on the back of the head from a higher level, which I'll let you. Which is also fine. Yeah. Pop down there. You can, you can kind of lean over and Move into me repeatedly in the water. Club you. 
sympathetic. There is, what is the thing about attacking from a physically higher up? There must be something. I don't, I don't think there's anything. Base contact. Characters in base contact when the bases are touching or both their bases are within one inch, yeah. touching the same obstacle as one inch or shorter. That's how they resolve the clubbing of people stood on things at arm Yeah. Uh, that, so that's, that's an inch because we've checked that That's before. reasonable and I'm close enough to it. I think I'll give you that. Just going to lean down. Pop. <laughs> right, go on, roll your... So my attack opportunity is four. Um, oh, I've got that bodyguard doctor thing. I probably could have done some stuff earlier. That's a pity you forgot that. I know. So as right. so much as I forgot my protection in the water, and this would have saved me several life. Uh, but hey, hey. So, clubbing him for two. Two. Uh, okay. My, my, my protection. Oh, this should have been the pose roll. Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's not. No, it's you, not a pose roll. I roll a No, you club me against my decks. Oh. Right, okay, no, yes, you're right, I'm reading the wrong thing. You um, don't protect against two, you, don't you? My dex gets plus one, doesn't it? So I'm at dex five. Why is it Because your one? club is... Oh, uh, minus one, yeah. My, so. so I get extra dex, but it's minus one protection, isn't it? Mm, no, it's damage plus one. Damage plus one. So I still get a protection of four okay, against it. Damage two. So I get four dice, and there we go. So I take save one. one of them. So I take one damage. Plus one, so you take two damage. Two damage. Ow, ow. Ow. Ow, oh, nearly dead. And I get a stun counter. You do get a stun counter. Which, Have unfortunately, it's possibly going to kill him when he wakes up the next round. If he wakes if up. If he wakes up. Yeah, when, yeah, if you because I will club him a second time. Because that seems like a... <laughs> Hang on, you've, you've moved. Action yeah. one, move. Action two. Act on, action attack action. opportunity. Yeah, okay, contact. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, right. 40k was never this difficult. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it just has 15 rule books and we only have one that we don't remember. It's just, yeah, the fact that we can't get this one right is not sure looking good, is it? Right, beat fours. How eight? One, five, two, three, five, five two. Because I get plus one, two. Two, again. Two, okay. And so you've so got I'm stun, going. so it's minus something. You've got the cheat sheet. Minus protection, I think. Uh, Come on, minus stun. Or is it minus dex? Uh, no, it's move. I have dex, so three. it was three hits. Um, I get my normal protection. So it's three hits, normal protection off. One, two, three successes. So negate. Three, three or damage. four damage. Three or four damage, I take damage. One more, one more, one more. No. no. You did three hits. You did three successes, didn't you? You had three successes. I negated three yeah, damage. I thought I had three, and I didn't because it was fives. No, but then um, I moved them so it didn't actually. Just rewind and see. No, you did three successes. Next. You had two, a four, something, uh, something that was a one or a two, and then two other successes that were there. So you had three successes, including the four. Because the four we said was yeah. not a success. Cause I negate three successes. I still take one damage because you're one. on to zero, and then I take damage one damage. One. So he sat on 11 damage and is in water with a stun counter. Not good. He right. He's got two stun counters, and he can have two. Uh, I don't think I can have two. I'm just have stunned. Two. I like that. I like the spinning stars. <laughs> I build them around you. Okay. Style. I'm going to have to rethink my turn very slightly. Um, being I've also forgotten I can't cast... Oh, no, I've got plenty of will left. I'm okay there. You've got another caster. Mm. You do that one. I work out what the rules are for. No, I haven't. He's got. He's got no will left because he spent it all, and I can't regain it that easily. Um, <clears throat> so first thing he's going to do is he's going to walk over to here and drop into the water next to your doctor. Is he going to attempt to drown me as well? Um, yes, but he's going to interrupt his second action before he does. Oh no, he's going to attack opportunity first. Um, and yes, I think we will attempt to drown you repeatedly. There's like a water breather kit somewhere in the items you can buy. You might want to buy you a lot of those. Buy, yeah. We should have gone for 75 um, points and then I would have done. We stopped at 73. Uh, what I want to check is water creature, uh, set up in water, dive action, can't be drowned. That's about it. Okay, drown, 1 AP. Make an opposed yeah, attack roll. One. That's disappointing. I like 7 plus. Okay, so, opposed attack roll, 7 plus. I've got an attack of only two with the voice of Dagon. I have an attack of two, that's fine. You roll yours. Get in! One, so that's two Critical. successes. So you reduce mine by two, however I'm... Hang on, this is the opposed roll thing, it's yes. not, it's just a regular, because where's the thing about criticals being two? Oh yes, it is, so it's only just one. Just one. So I've got an attack of one left. However, I'm on a bigger base than you, so I get an extra one. Oh, you are. I shouldn't have yes. been that failed. That's why I've got to remember to use him. Uh, so, two dice, drowning you on sevens. Not on the But uh, Perhaps only two actions of his... Uh, that's only one action, because that's to jump into the water, mm -hmm. and he's got three actions. However, before I do my second action, 
I'm going to do what I should have done first, which is I'm going to activate command ability. Poison Fable and everybody's stunned. Everybody, everybody within miles. three inches is stunned. So please, can you adopt It's only him, yeah. Uh, and the, isn't the, what's it called? Isn't that three inches? That's three inches. Summon the big measurer. Three inches, he's in. Uh, okay. 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 He is also stunned. Would have been useful if I'd have used that <laughs> first. A while ago, that would have Should have set stunned. myself up. Right, okay, and then I'm going to thump you again. So do you want to roll your two dice? Uh, attack is minus one, sorry. One dice. What? You're stunned. Check, checking the stun rules yet again. Stunned. Attack minus one. Move, attack, dex, and yep. mind. Eight. Nice. One, one success. So I'm down to two dice then. Two successes. <laughs> so I lose a thousand life. Uh, two life points plus one for every ace rolled. So four, and I've got four a protection roll of three. Make none. None. Four life. Oh no. Final action. Actually, More drown drowning by chance? More drowning! <laughs> Go for it. Ugh, came the ball. I should hit the no first successes. Roll. One, two, three attacks. One success. So three more damage, minus your protection. There's no minus protection. No minus stunned, protection. So... Still mm -hmm. none. Three more damage. Dun, dun, dun. That's uh, oh, six more dice. Plus, plus more. So he's on nine and yeah. twelve. Shocker. How to kill smart ass Doctor Who cast lots of spells on you. There we go. And that's the end of my activation. <laughs> do do? Your turn. <laughs> uh, what to do? Unfortunately, I could do with getting a couple more point, another point of damage on in this turn. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. Because I think that I can killing your spellcaster because he's so good. Mm. Well, the doctor's weakness on the like number of points we're playing is that I only have one particularly decent character and then mm. everybody else is a bit rubbish. Yep. So that's a five inch jump to there to make a hop. Four. Four? Is it? Yeah. Okay. I get four. Because you can you can bear in mind you can fall an inch without any damage so five. Is that an obstacle or is it a thing where I have to stop? Um can you stand your model up on it? Probably. It's a slide. <laughs> I, as cool as it would be to jump off there, slide down there in his bum and then oh, leap off the that end. Would be good. I, I think it's a, it's going to be two actions, one to jump onto it and one to jump off it if you want to get the guy in the water. However, you will be probably three inches above me. Hmm. So you will get your bonus, but I am underwater, so I've got my extra protection. Hmm. Your call. I'm not doing anything else. The so four down to there. So he has got, having climbed all the way up there, <laughs> he's, he's now just going to jump back off again. Takes a four, is he? Cause, yes, because everything has just gone to pot in everybody's plans. Yeah. Uh, we're only seven. Yeah. Denied. So he just goes... Does he just fall off? I think he just falls. Oh dear. That's fine. Oh dear. We'll, we'll just get a measure. Move move two inches. So he will go, it's six inches. Is it six or is it... Uh, total height is six inches. So he, he goes Jumps two. down. Hang on. If he goes two, will that put him on the lip of the thing? And then no. he can... Oh, oh just shy. Far. So he'll so just plummet. He'll land like there. Essentially, he's going to fall... There. Yeah. Yeah, is it the height of the building? Is it the whole height of the building or is it from... Because he's going to be about an inch down. If you jump in diagonally that way, two inches, you're actually mm. starting You're starting your fall about there. So I think you're only falling four inches, actually. Four. So then I do something to avoid breaking both my ankles. I think it's yeah. just a regular protection roll. It? No, you, you get a fall roll. Oh, is it dexterity roll? Falling. Make a basic dexterity roll. Seven plus... Do I just have to beat one? Uh, no, you reduce life points by one for each ace rolled. That's not too bad, so it's up to four. One, two, three. Three, so three successes, damage. takes one damage. So I presume, that's, and so I presume that's instead of a protection roll. Yeah, that's like falling in style. Yeah. Um, better check the protection rolls are drowning then. Hold on, so one moment. A slight mistake there. We rolled protection rolls for the, uh, the doctor there. He made at least three protection saves, and he shouldn't have because he he's a drone be action. So he, uh, we've decided he's dead, <laughs> which is rather good for me because that saves me uh, chasing after him under the water and trying to kill him. I like that. That's a good result. Mm. 
how to kill the doctor. Don't let him stand near the edge. <laughs> yeah. But he did, he did all right up to then. Yeah, I'd say he nearly, nearly, nearly knocked out that But cultist. I have to go near an edge at some point at which all the Rashar just lynch whoever is near the edge. Yes, I was going to say, the voice of Dagon in the water because he's bigger base is actually quite useful. Oops, he's trashed the place while that's yeah. it. So he's fallen there, land on his feet, that's action one. Action but two. he's all right because you can get to an inch of him and just like run at him. Yeah, just straight. run and jump into the water. Pretty much, he's just going to hop down the two inch things. And jump into the water and take an attack of opportunity against my yes, he dude is. In the water. Because we're just frantically scrabbling for what to do. So he's got an attack of three. Okay. Against dexterity. You're just attacking me. Or um. Or drowning me. I'm just going to attack you. That makes sense because it's yeah. Dex four then. Oh, sorry. Hey, two. Thing. Uh, two successes. Right. Okay. I got a protection of four. Any modifier to that? No. So, four dice. One, two. Two successes. How much damage? One per success. Is it any pluses to the damage? No. Nope. So, both saved. Yep. However, and this is something I'm going to look up quickly because the way that damage versus life thing works. Just checking that I feel like again. Anything. It's a very nice rule book. It is a we nice keep having book. to look at it. The question is, and I, I feel like I know the answer, but at the same time I thought I knew the answer to everything else, is the weapon ability stun. Right, you have to take damage, not right. get hit. Good. Okay, my go. Uh, huh. hmm. You're going to pop up and drown him some? <laughs> <laughs> How many life has he got? Quite a lot, actually. Eleven. Ten left. Ten left. I can do... I can do five damage to drown. I think. <laughs> we'll try and drown him. Uh, so, um, it's an opposed roll on a seven. Starting with your it's attack, isn't it? Attack. So, two. Is two. So, my attack is three. So, you one. Now, he hasn't spent any will yet, so he can buy an extra dice. So, he's going to buy an extra dice to take two dice there. He fluffs that royally. Okay, action one, done. Action two. <laughs> is it going to be drown? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the subtitle for this episode. Sometimes in which a lot of people are sometimes drowned and sometimes not. Yeah, drown action again, second action. Oh, and he's coming up, so he's not going to take his move at all. What? Just to get rid of the, um, the token. He's not going to bother moving, he's just going to pop up. The pump. Hello! Uh, one. One. I will spend another will. Really desperate to drown people, aren't you? Absolutely. Uh, one is there, so he's only got one left, and I get uh, so minus one from my attack of two is two plus one for extra dice, three. I'll drown him. So I've got attack of three, uh -huh. minus one, yeah, no success. Oh, yeah, attack of two, on. add one back on for my will. Yeah, one, two successes. So yeah, four life points. Yep. With no protection roll, ladies and gentlemen. Because it's that's, it's in the pose roll. Pose roll seems to skip your... It's to do with damage and life, is the yes. wording. Yeah. Okay, that's his two actions done then. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. Though I can re-roll, but I should... I've got, you've got expert offence, I keep forgetting that. Okay, don't matter. I could have re-rolled one dice. Uh, is she going to try and hop down and magic him? Basically, does, it yeah. does, it, does it do life, the uh, country of the sun? Does four down to there, and then he's in within six inches, so she's going to make an attempt to jump down there. She did all right before, so I can't see why this would go wrong. Okay. All. So two successes or one success and a shameful four. One success. And a shameful four, that'll do. Because that will get her four inches, which actually will get her down to there. And then it's like half an inch drop. Okay, and then, so, so that's nothing. All right, that's all right. And, the counter, and this is the annoying thing. So the Cantor of the Sun is now on her crap mind roll of one. Yeah. She's doctor dead. But that's a pity. Doesn't make it. Yes, yeah, two actions. So that's yeah. two actions. Okay. Um, so I have got. I think this is going to be pretty much game over, isn't it? Because I'm going to say he's mm. going to swim. So he gets uh, when he activates, he gets to swim four inches, and he also has fast swimmer two. He's going to get six inches all the way to over there before he even activates. Somewhere over there. 
So that's his free action for being underwater. Second action, I shall just swim into contact with you. End of that, I shall get an attack of opportunity. Uh, now he has got, what's he like? Has he got drown? Uh, anyone could drown. Just doesn't get extra dice. Is he going to drown? Is he going to drown? I reckon. Let me think about this for just one moment. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am fish people. I win by drowning. Uh, he looks more sort of neanderthal He's not. He's got gills on Does his, he and a sad face. If you look at his little sad face, I think the other one's I mean, got gills. I mean, monkeys can look sad too. <laughs> He's got a kind of jowly fish face. Feel. Go on, roll, roll your three attack dice. Two, two sevens. Two. Mm. Well, two nines. Two nines, so I've got an attack of one. Fit to fit. Hmm. Second action. Just to get one again. moment. Oh, 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 yes. Build the drama. Wait, don't say anything yet. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And he's going to try and drag him to the depths. It's more like you just lean on him until he falls <laughs> in the water. Uh, one. one. Um, yeah. I'm not going to spend will. Thank I'm, I am going to spend a will to give myself an extra dice. Yeah, he's got three Why? will. So he's going to spend. They're all right, those right now. Uh, for ten to cut. These guys aren't bad. One. So two plus one, three three damage. Takes him down to eight. You've got three left. Eight. Hmm. Hmm. Three more. I've got to kill him three more times. This isn't about easy. Can't do maths. Eight. Yeah. Okay. That's my two actions done. The man just runs over and belly flops. Gloriously. <laughs> He's basically just going to run off there and do a three-inch drop attack onto him. <laughs> for an attack of opportunity. That makes sense to me. Because <laughs> why not? What else is he going to do? Belly flop on top of the, uh, the stun. So he gets an extra attack dice for a three-inch drop. Yeah. Attack three. Cool. I am minus one dex because I'm stunned, so I'm only dex three, so four or more. Now the question, so... I know it doesn't count for... you can Non-aquatic can do the attack of opportunity, can't they? But they can't then fight afterwards. Yes, because he's yeah. jumping, so he's, he's out of the water. So, three. He's going to spend two will points because he's got nothing else to do with them. <laughs> and have two extra dice. He's going down. I don't know. I think the, the cult is probably dead here. I unfortunately couldn't get to cast around to heal him. One, One two, two successes. Two successes. against dexterity. Oh, no, he's against dexterity of three, And isn't he's it? stunned, yeah. So, so One, two, three, four. Four successes. Is it beat or equal? I think it's equal, isn't it? <laughs> Confident about these things till someone says them out loud. Yeah. Uh, basic attack, equal or beat the target's ah, dexterity. Four. Four. One for damage for each ace rolled. Penetration okay. plus one though, so you get one extra dice. So I get five protection. Minus one for being in stunned. No, no. Oh, it's protection. No, it's not protection, right. so it's, I just lose me attack and dex and things. One, two, three. So it takes one damage. One damage. Unfortunately, it kills him. That's enough to kill him. Yes. So he comes out of the game. That was a pity. He, he did really well, actually. I was quite impressed by his um, launching of the nah, he's the dead. Water. He's dead. He's dead. He's excellent. Unfortunately, yeah, the madman is now going to get repeatedly drowned by the voice of Dagon. In fact, uh, do I spend a... Oh, he's got no... Is he an underwater creature? Uh, the voice of Dagon's a water creature, of course. Yeah. yeah. I should grapple him, then. You're going to grapple me. I can't drown you, so I as well grapple him, you giggle. Mm, do what? You can't throw upwards. You throw you sideways. Okay. Why not? Why not? Um, I'm quite tempted before you do that action. To so you can't to throw me. upwards. I can throw over, like, through me and back the other way, though. Uh, it doesn't really define how you grapple. So I presume grappling, you just kind of move out of the way and move them sideways. Yes, yeah, so you must be able to go, like, like um, over the top, per se. I'm actually going to spend a command point and interrupt before you do your second action. Um, and grab your head and attempt to dunk the madman, who I'm fairly sure should get massive negatives to this, being that his arms are tied. Um, however, <laughs> we've got three dice. Are you going to uh, resist my attempt to uh, drown you in the water? It's not will, it's command. It's one of those. No, no I'm just thinking. Dun, 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 dun. He's in the rule book again. He's not read the rules properly. No, it's only because it says it's before attacks of opportunity. Oh, so I should have done it before, should I? Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, I was wondering whether... It, go on, I'll let you off. Do you know what I mean? I'm in the wrong place there. Yeah, I should have thought... I'm not sure if you are. I don't understand. No, I should have declared it at the end of your action before you did the attack of opportunity, so you actually have an action now, and then I could de declare a new one. 
Right. So off you go. You try and grapple me. I um, will grapple him in the head. Uh, so we've got two attacks, isn't it? this time. Two attack dice. One. One success. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's parry do? Uh, you can make people reroll, I think. Mm -hmm. Can't actually see it. Uh, combat Begins abilities. Parry. Um, there we go. Uh, parry rolls. Well, I'm base contact. I can force my opponent to reroll to X dice. You can reroll that success, please. I shall. In the box. It, oh, it's it only counts in the box. It counts in the box. That's the rule. It fails. Failed to grapple me. Woo! -hoo. Um, that works. So I'm not going to bother spinning it. I think because it's now my go. Um. Hang on, hang on, he's back in the rulebook. Oh, yeah, well, because it's a critical fail, because the other one's a one, so I assume Ooh. you just can't, like, go Ooh. back and count that as a critical fail then. Let's have a look at it. Was originally a critical, it was originally a one on the thingy dice. Uh, one of these, one of these, drowning, Ooh. combat protection, grappling, grappling, fumble. Target character makes a grapple action instead, using the same dice result. Hey. I make a grapple action instead. Using your dice, but you critical failed. So nothing happens. I don't understand that. Presumably, it means that if I had rubbish dexterity, it would be up. no, because you say it's a seven plus. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Bear with us one moment. We shall FAQ and see if anything's there. We've come to the conclusion that we have absolutely no idea what a fumbled uh, grapple action does because it would seem to create some sort of infinite grapple loop, so we're just going to leave it as it is. We're joining this filming six and a half hours later after <laughs> repeatedly failing to grapple one another. Right, okay, so in that case I shall just carry on. Um, I've got my mage dude over here. Uh, he has got two actions, Dagonite Priest. He's got one willpower left and we have some spells. Uh... I think that's quite a good option. So he is going to move all the way down to here, shuffle down to there. So we can see your dude over there. Mm -hmm. And you see him in the line of sight there. And he will use Summon Vermin for his last willpower point. Uh, so click one enemy character within line of sight within 12 inches. This character takes X plus one damage, and I'm a mage two. So he potentially will do three damage if I get it off. Uh, have you got anyone to no. counter? Nope. Nope. Okay, so it is easy, 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 easy. four dice. This is only got mind of uh, mind of five. That's four. Yes. Uh, that'll be loads of successes. Absolutely yeah. hundreds. So uh, need five. So three successes. That's successful. Uh, three damage to the uh, drowny man in the water. So Who, damage. In which case, he gets a protection roll. Because it's damage, not life. Uh, it is indeed damage. Yes. One protection roll. Oh. You need to say, oh, all of them. One. One. Takes two damage. Down he goes. Wait, six, eight, no, two damage. Ten. He's not dead yet. Oh, he's on eight. I can't count. I can't count either tonight. That was, oh, shoot. Aha. Shoot. That's his two actions. Okay. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, your turn. The nurse. <laughs> it's once again nurse, all I've got Nurse, you over here. Yeah. Hmm. So six inches from there would be. Attempt a spectacular seven inch jump to there. I'm lying, I'm not. I'm just going to hop up to there and try and get a four inch jump. Right. Ish. Yeah, four. Uh, da -da -da, with dexterity three. No! no it's like, that's his critical fumble! She remains in place. Dun, dun, dun. Congratulations on your critical remaining completely still. Action two. Let's try that again. Jumps again. <laughs> one Woo! success. So two plus one is three. She jumps into the wall, I think. <laughs> make... plus... Oh no, I can make it right to the very edge there. That's the edge. Let's get three. Three inches is somewhere over there. There we go. Just about just Basically go. Ugh. Better um... off just climbing that. Never mind. Oh, okay. That was a sad effort. I think that is the end of the round, isn't it? Mm. So Dagon's been dead, been, been, been. Yep, that's all mine been. You jumped in the water, she jumped down, she jumped up, he clunked me over the head repeatedly, madman belly flopped onto the um, cultist. So mm. that's the end of round two. Uh, so far, Brutal. I've scored one victory point precisely. Haven't done anything else. Uh, nope, haven't done that. 
Uh, oh, kill an enemy character with a larger... No, that's larger base size. No, that doesn't work. You haven't got any of them, so I can't score it at all. Um, kill an uh, enemy character with the leader keyword, with a character with a hero keyword. Don't voice of Dagon, Dagon unfortunately, is... No, the voice of Dagon did the drowning, but he's a leader, so I don't have to score that one either. So that's a useless one. Um, and haven't done any of them. Right. So your consolation for the duration of the game, I have had one thing that I can score. Yeah, so far. Still got it. it. So. Right. End of the round. Um, yeah, not looking good for the doctors here. We've got a, a guy in the water here who is basically going to die if I sneeze near him. Uh, we've got a, a mage who's, who's, yeah, who's run out of mind, which is slightly problematic, but I'll figure that out later. We have Voice of Dagon um, probably going to finish off a madman shortly. Um, we've got the, the beastie um, warden there who's um, fine. He's not been damaged at all, so I'm sure he'll join the fight. But he can't fight in the water, which is quite handy. I need to stick to the water. And we've got Lassie standing on the roof doing not a lot. Yet. Um, this time. Objectives. We have yet to uncover any of the objectives because we've been too busy uh, drowning each other. <laughs> <laughs> too, too busy not playing the scenario. So we'll see you in a moment for turn three. Okay, so we are back for turn three. We've just checked the rules again because Charlie's leader is dead and I apparently win the initiative roll. And it's absolutely no surprise whatsoever. We're going to start over here. And we're going to start with... Uh, who's got the better attack? He's got three attack. He's also got three attack. They have to succeed with one drown. Yeah, I think they will, we use the hybrid first because I think the, it's more useful keeping the cultists free to do other murdering in a minute. So the uh, hybrid here is going to attempt to drown yet again the guy with a pointy stick. Uh, Opposed roll. So off you go first. Two... Dice and you've stolen all the best dice. There we go. Uh, I'm trying to make sevens. Two, mm. one, two, two. That reduces mine. No, it's a hybrid, so you're going to spend. Uh, oh, fuck it, I'll spend two will. I'll make sure this happens. Oh, I'm going to spend two will as well. Too late. Too, late. too late. Too <laughs> late. He's going to die with his will points intact. However, will. I fluff the roll royally. Nothing. Uh, so, my second action. I'm going to ponder this for a moment. Um, um, is it position two? I've got no modifier. Um, no, I'm going to drown him again. All I'm going to spend a will again. point because I have got them. <laughs> <laughs> All your will, are you? No, just one of them. Just because one. you're going to drown me again later. If he survives oh this, I want more will, obviously. Yeah. So it's kind of a mistake. One. One. So I'm down to two dice. Worth one success. We'll do this. Oh, no successes. Bugger. Drown him seven. No, nope. no successes. That was a fail. Now, I can either <laughs> respond with him and just go, zap, <laughs> which would be funny, or I can try and score my one possible victory point. You can't because it's no, not, not a no. aquatic weapon. I can climb out. I can, can climb. move to there. Yep. But. Which would make it marginally harder for me to kill you. But what well, I'm instead going to do is I'm going to activate the Mad Bang. Who still has a will point, by the way. Right. So I'm going to spend it to do three attack grapple on him. Okay, I'm not quite sure where you're going to start with me, but there we go. It's fine. Do it over my head. Over your head, onto the side. Oh, see, so your dude can jump down and beat you. Well, just like next and beat to me. Okay. So, what am I trying to beat? Oh, pose roll. Pose roll. First. So I go first. I go first. Uh, do 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 attack of two and the next one from big. Do you get the extra for a pose roll when you're attacking? Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. No, I don't. I only get two dice, so that's uh, a slight pity, but there we go. Um I've got no will left to spend, so we'll just two dice and we score one success. Ah! It fails to crap on the big beastie. And do it again. Action two. <laughs> okay. Just do it. I have to do it again. We score one success. Come on, son. You've got two, two attacks, haven't you? Three, two attacks? No. He's attacked two, so yeah, one yeah. dice. Uh, fails again. <sighs> he fails to grapple the big beastie. It's worth That's a go. pity. Uh, so I think we will have the next action over here. And um, with the uh, other efficient, cultist dude with the cool hat, 
And I'm because quite tempted. efficient cultist to with the cool. Yeah, I'm actually quite I'm tempted to just to stab you repeatedly. Because I only need to do one damage. Mm. And what's your dex for your. Um, is that oh, dude? Four. Yeah. Relatively speaking. I've got three attacks. Let's have three attacks. We'll just. We'll, um, action one, I'm going to stab you. I've got expert offence, so. Oh, I'll draw that in there. Two. Two. Uh, expert offence, I can re-roll that. Still two. So, uh, two successes. Um, protection roll, uh, minus one protection. So you're on protection one. You're dead. So Unless it's a crit. Get in the box. In the box. Got to be a crit in the box. Oh. It's not a crit in the box. Still takes one down, dun, goes. Dun, dun, he's down. Glug. There we go. This is looking quite good for me this week. I like this week. Last week was a bloodbath. I think to be fair, the second the Doctor of the Mind died, you had won. Quite possibly. Because in order to score any objectives, I have to win, I have to score a secondary. And two of them require the Doctor of the Mind to score them. Ah. And you ran out of mind, power, mind points before I could do any dispelling. So I couldn't score that one either. You burned all of your spells. <laughs> no, stop yeah, it! I'm, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get uh, things back. So anyway. Um, so the only thing... How am I going to do this? Right. This is a bit of a peculiar one, but... You can essentially toddle over the bridge. Or he could jump. He's got quite a rubbish move, though. It's three. three. So I need to jump over the bridge for this to work. So this is a jump of five. <laughs> He's got dex four. He's so, so for being slow and lumbering. So three successes would get you there. Anything less would land on my head. Three, four. Which would still be an attack of opportunity. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it. Sit on it's him. Funny. Uh, dex of four. I'm gonna spend will point. Okay. <laughs> get five. I'm gonna land. So I'm gonna land here in base contact with him. But yeah. An inch, basically. How many do I need? One, two, three. You needed. Uh, it's two plus every, one for each success, and you need to get to five. So you need three successes. You've got two. He flubs. He basically makes it to there uh, and lands on my head. So I sort of get wobbly model on the edge there. Yeah, I've got on that. Basically. We'll sit in there. So you can make an attack off you. Sweet. Grapple. <laughs> Obsessed by grappling. There was okay. a reason for this. It makes perfect sense. So, uh, I will roll. Roll. roll first. Uh, two successes. Critical doesn't do anything, does it? So, attack of two, spend one, three, what are we roll? Sevens? Yes. No, is it a post attack roll? Yeah, it's a post grapple roll, so it's on seven. It's what we did wrong last time when it, oh, we were doing it on decks all the time. Oh. Um, this time we've done it right. Any, any sevens, because I'm going to do something that's really rubbish. I'll take it. One. There's an eight. So he gets uh, two inches plus one move. Which is fine. I'm going to grapple him basically to there, and then I'm going to argue the toss for my objective card. Grapple an enemy character into base contact with a friendly character. Already in base contact. Uh, go on. Yes. Go on. Go Back on. in the game, son. One point. <laughs> No, he's not, because I'm going to kill everybody. Technicality. Technicality. Um, That's one action to jump, one attack of opportunity. You've got one action. No, 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 yeah, one action to jump. One action. It was just a, walk, a jump, wasn't it? You've got one left. You know, you can stand next to that. Go and stand over here for three turns. <laughs> right, okay. So, uh, next. I think the voice of Dagon better go and kill off this madman before he activates. Um... How many life has the Madeline got? Nine. I thought he was... Did we not wound him earlier? What? I not wound him earlier. I think so. Okay. Right, so. No, that's fine. Uh, I shall start drowning him away. So, <laughs> his posed roll, please. He's, don't worry, he's served his purpose now. You can drown him if you want. Yeah, let's just finish him off because he gives you a one last activation. Two. Uh, two successes, so I've got one dice. Yeah, well. One. Disappointingly not a critical fail. Uh, so, two plus one damage. <laughs> Three. Um, we'll do it again. Two dice, please. Okay. If I succeed that well three times, I win. One. Two dice against you. I can make you re-roll your thirty of success. I've got parry two. 
It's an attack action, isn't it? Um, oh, that's when I become a, a thing. I'm wrong, wrong way around. I want to. You just don't understand how parrying. I want no, no. I want the expert offense. And some of my characters have roles for, for rerolling. <coughs> expert offense wouldn't do it. Uh, Fail. No sevens, doesn't it? No failed. And third one, I will do it again. One, one. Probably should have done some casting. Oh, there you are. I could. Have, I can regain. Yeah, must do that. Uh, one crit success. Ooh, that's it. Three, five, isn't it? Two, no, two plus two. Uh, protect your combat. Drown, drown, fumble, attacker loses, you know, critical. Four life points plus one for every rate ace rolled. Yeah, so five. five. Awesome. Not quite dead, unfortunately. Uh, and finally, I will spend command points to do. Should have probably done this first. Uh, Blessing of Dagon. Everybody take a stun counter. Because then he'll wake up in the water and die. You realise he loses life points for waking up with no will anyway. Oh, do you? You do, he's mindless. Oh, he's mindless. Yeah. Okay, that's, not, that's a special rule. It's not a thing you ride. Yeah. Okay. I think it's only one for drowning, for having a stun in water. Uh, oh, no. Start, starts activation in water, takes two life. Oh, he'll be dead later. He'll be dead later. Seven, two, up to nine. Two, two nurses left. I'll try this one. I climb back up. <laughs> this is basically my thing. It's just up and down. You there. sure you don't want to just retire? Yes. At the end of turn, at least. What turn are we on? On three. Three. Got two, three turns left. Theoretically. So you've got to get out of the water and up the building. Yeah, it's not hard. Three turns. She makes it. She makes it. Action one. Action two. Toddles across. Two. Basically there. Okay. Right, okay, so, um, so you just can't lift someone from the air with gateway, is that right? That's the new thing where you can't oh, just like, send them straight at the end and drop them on their yeah. heads, yes. I believe so. Wild magic and gateway magic. Pick character within one inch, remove the character and place them anywhere out of base contact on solid ground within eight inches. He's within line of sight of him. Uh, okay, so actually he's going to activate and do a turn that way. You can now see the voice of Dagon. I shall use the Zero Will Cantrip of Justice to cast, first of all, with his Mind of Four. With sevens. Is it any old line of sight? One, two, three. Three successes. So, Cantrip of Justice. Uh, character may immediately cast another spell for zero AP. This spell... Costs will points as normal. I shall then cast Cantrip of the Sun, <laughs> which costs zero will points. <laughs> um, am I within the line of sight of myself? <laughs> this, this might have to change in a moment. <laughs> it's all right, I'll just delete this from the video. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. The plan is to attempt to re-energise myself. I need to get a will point back. Do you know it doesn't say? I say yes. I say no. 50-50 <laughs> roll. It makes sense, doesn't it, to be in line and you see yourself. yourself. Yeah. Uh, one to five I can. To one. I can. One to five. One to five I can. It's a ten sided yeah. dice. <laughs> Six like to ten I can. Low numbers are bad. Anyway. I, I know, you must, you I, must I be able to see yourself. That so, yeah, we were all again. Four dice on a seven. We have two successes. Still so, I. I think. Yeah, it's not that one. It's Country of Justice. So, I get uh, one life and one will point. I haven't got any life lost, but I gain a will point, which is one of the important ones. I can now cast some other stuff. Like gateway. Uh, so unfortunately, I need to move. So he's going to do a little jump over to there, three inches. Uh, got oh, hang on! For, oh, 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 I get oh. to make an out of sequence attack opportunity for whom? For him, because you attempted to cast a spell in base contact. He didn't cast. He cast a spell, and then he cast it after. No, no, he cast that spell. Does he? I, so, a country of justice. Yep. 
And it counts me and immediately cast another spell for zero AP. Spell costs will points, but it can be any spell known by any other mage, friendly or enemy, within line of sight. Oh, so I thought it made him cast no, no, cast no, no. a cantrip on himself over there. Yes. I see. However, it means I can steal things like Kraken if I don't kill you. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that earlier. Would have been mm. quite useful. So anyway, I'm going to cast. Uh, I'm going to make a jump across the uh, the barrier here, um, just to get within an inch of someone, so I can gateway the next turn or up the building. Uh, he gets one success. Uh, it's a three inch jump. That makes the jump over there because it is three inches. I can't see my character there. He's literally to the edge there. That's his action done. It's a long eight inches. Can't do it. I can't ever move the guy first. They have to go around the other side of him and start. He from moves there. to there and then he can he <laughs> get sling them up. them up. Sling them up. I can make this. <laughs> okay. It works. I've only got two things left to think. You've got Nursey, haven't you? I do have Nursey. And, and Madman, but the Madman dies as soon as he activates. It does. Oh, that's a pity. I just have to take one on the board because he loses two He loses two life points. Um, Actually, no, I'm not losing me else because it's amusing. I will. Let's think. How many has he got? You could theoretically got seven, try and so save. I'm going to uh, just climb down there. To get within half I need to get a jump, I think. Get in line of sight. So you attempt a five inch jump. Yeah. Because they've gone really well so far. <laughs> Dex of three. I'm going to use two will. <laughs> Make this jump. So that's now gone down to two. One, two. Makes it. That's a four inch jump. Four inch jump. Not the line of sight. You need to get to the edge. Stuff it, I'm gonna jump down there. You can't cast in water. You could jump to to the edge of the thing, here, yeah. You, but you have declared to there. Uh, stop. So I'm I'm jumping a straight line four inches and fall. Will I land there? No, you're on there. Oh. You aim to the to there. So strictly speaking, you Ooh. should jump to there. Oh, well, and she stop. jumps just short. Unfortunately. I can see his face. <laughs> you're trying to heal him one. I am basically, that was the plan. Because if I did that, if I gave him one mind and one health, he would lose one health from drowning. Still have one health. He'll lose two one. health from drowning. Ah, oh, stuff it. I wouldn't even have done that. Yeah, he'll lose two from drowning. Oh, he's just done with water. He's down there and he can just activate He just removed the extra one from. I thought it was only one. Maybe. No, so you need to. Can't do it. He's on seven now. Yep. He'll be on six. So that won't kill him. Because he'll, he'll, have, he'll have one will point for the cantrip of the whatever it is. So stop that happening. Yeah. And he'll only be on six damage. Yeah. But I'll do two more be eight. So no. I can't see him, so it would be. Okay. Wait, you see his face. Oh, well. He's dead. He's dead, so you've still got Gurley to... Oh, he's, he's, he's activating. Okay, so yeah. I've got... Um, <clears throat> I don't have anything left. There's a voice of Dagon Bean. No, he hasn't, has he? Not this turn. Are you sure? Did he not spend a long time... He did, he drowned the madman, and they stunned him. Yes. The stunning was... was at the end of everything yes. else, I think. Yes, I'm done. Did I... Yes, because he flubbed everything. Mm. He did the final stabby. He's moved. Yeah, it's just you. Not quite sure how. I think some of the other four characters to your five, five of the being around. On to the end. You can, I guess you can jump, jump off on them, or I'll jump off specifically on the priest. Right. Okay. Six inch to get into base is five, five, inch, five inch. Five inch. Five inch. Five. And they've gone well. So right this time we will do that stupid number of marker points. Any sevens? One. One. <laughs> Three, Three inch jump and then fall and then a fall. And so three inches is here. How far on down? The plus I side. assume you can get down a little bit there. So if you do it from there, and you're going to hit the. Unfortunately, not the water. I think I am. Three. Just three inches straight down. I think you hit the wood first. I think the water. So going to go through. It's going to fall in the water into combat three with those down. two. So any one success means you take no damage. Yep. Yeah. So draw, falling. Well, yeah. Crit success. There you go. You survive the fall. And now you get an attack opportunity. You can <laughs> take an attack opportunity on one of the two fellows you're in combat with. The, uh, Are either of them wounded? One uh, deficiency, uh, no. Because he's not been damaged yet. Mm. The voice of Dagon's wounded. No one else is wounded. He's just down to one will point. Which I'm going to do? I'm going to drown one of them. <laughs> That's fair enough. Who are we going to drown? We've either got one of the cultists, they've got a higher dex, and... It makes any difference, they've got an attack of two. They're, they're exactly the same for much, so... 
Let me try on the hybrid. Hybrid's got marginally like less life. Sad monkey faces. Attack three, Hal. Pose roll, pose roll, pose roll. I go first. You did for effect. Uh, one. One success. Okay, this isn't focusing for some reason. Hang on, I'll just move it up a bit. Focusing, why am I not focusing? Try, try it, go draw. Boo. No fail. successes, fail. Oh well. End of the round. Let's go attack Priest. <laughs> yeah. It's the end of the round. That's the end of the round. So, uh, not looking great for the Doctors, handily. However, I'm not anywhere near any of these objectives, but I'm sort that out in a moment. Um, I can probably give up that one. I can pull back to these ones, probably score two objectives at least, possibly stop that one. He can just sit there on his own. And I'll just ignore him, because he can't cap more than one objective. Mm. And I can get one, two, potentially three if I kill him. I think him. it's safe to say that you have won. Uh, what time are we on now? I think it's possibly um, late. Late. So I think we will call it there as a, a victory for the um, Cult of Blackon. Mm. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We shall play again in the next week or so. Thank you very much, guys. Goodbye. Ta -ta.